want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Luminati News Hour, right here on Luminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. And this is a special request video from Sister Sweet Beauty. Sister Sweet Beauty, I want to thank you for sending me a donation for this video. If you guys have any special request videos that you want me to do, a uh, celebrity you want me to do a video on, there's a small donation of $5. The donation link in the description box below. Or if you have a YouTuber that you want me to do a special request video on, small donation of $5. The donation link in the description box below. Or if you have a specific topic that you needed me to do a video on for some edification, like Sister Sweet Beauty, ask for a special topic. It's a small donation of $5. The donation link in the description box below. Alright, so Sister Sweet Beauty want to know is uh, why is oral sex or having oral sex bad? Well, the same reason why kings and queens are not supposed to be working. You know what I'm saying? But yet we are in captivity so we have to work. Because we are in captivity. You know how they say um, Juneteenth is the end of the black people in slavery? Let me tell you something. You cannot be, you can, we are not saved until we all, we don't, you cannot be saved. You cannot be out of slavery and you still got to punch a time clock. You cannot, I'm going to give you an example. You have Queen Elizabeth, Prince Harry, and such things of that nature. Do you see them punching a time clock? No, you don't. You see what I'm saying? Well, that's freedom. You know what I'm saying? See, the 12 tribes of Israel are in slavery. So therefore, we yes, we are still in slavery today. Martin Luther King didn't do nothing. We are still in slavery today. So we have to work to support our families. But yet, before it was not so. Because the 12 tribes of Israel are kings and queens. You don't never ever see a queen working. You don't never ever see a king working. Because we will be in our kingdom and we will have our own slaves working for us. Yes, the other nations will be our slaves, whereas they will be building up our kingdom the same way we built up their kingdom. But I don't know why. I don't know why I got all the way, all the way into a tangent talking about this. But you know what I'm saying? To the 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 summit and to to bring it to back to understanding. You said why is oral sex bad? Because a king is not supposed to be, or a queen is not supposed to be getting down on her knees and bowing down to no man, no woman. Let me, where in history have you seen a, king, a queen bowing down to anybody? You know what I'm saying? A queen is not supposed to bow down. A queen is supposed to have authority. The only person the queen is supposed to bow to is the Most High. And on that note, we ain't even supposed to be bowing to the Most High. When we serve the Most High, we're supposed to be standing on our feet. You know what I'm saying? As soldiers and praising the Most High. Nowhere in the scripture it says, get on your knees. That's the form of servitude, submissive to, submissiveness is to get on your knees. And then not only to do that, but to put something as filthy as a rod in your mouth. Yes, no matter how much you clean it, it is still filthy. The same way, no matter how much you clean your asshole, it still has shit residue in it. No matter how much you clean the toilet, you still not, you still not going to eat out of it, are you? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No matter how much you clean a dog's bowl, you still not going to use that bowl to eat your food out of it, are you? 
So no matter how much you clean a man's rod, it is still dirty. That's why the man always sweat, and the first place that stinks is there. Not only that, a man have discharges that comes out of his penis. Then that goes into your mouth. Tell me, people, why would you want to put other discharges in your mouth? You understand? It's like you're not going to eat a bowl of doo-doo, are you? So why would you put another man's orally discharge in your mouth? It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's not supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? The same way a woman, you know what I'm saying, a man going down on a woman. How are you, as a man, putting your mouth and your tongue in another woman's crack? Why? Because, you know what I'm saying, the vagina is an open wound. It's a wound. You know what I'm saying? It's not only a vagina, it is a wound. And there is oily discharges that comes in that wound. That's the same wound that bear children. That's the same wound that you know what I'm saying, bleed on a monthly basis. That's the same wound that you put in your mouth in there. Your sliver, you know what I'm saying, the juice is getting in your mouth. That's where diseases come from. You understand? It's just not supposed to be so. We never did that back in the day. The only time, the only reason why we do that today is because we was heavily influenced by the heathens to do so. The heathens do it, you know what I'm saying? And now we are doing it. But it wasn't so for back then. It wasn't so. We are never not supposed to do that. That's a filthy act. You know what I'm saying? It's a really filthy act. And if and if you women, if a man tells you to do that and, uh, and 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 a man gets mad when you don't do it, then that's that man is not for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you should have some you know what I'm saying, you should you should have some uh dignity about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Not to degrade yourself. Don't degrade, you women, don't degrade yourself. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? It's disgusting. You put your mouth on your man's rod, then you got to come up and kiss your man in the mouth. It's like your man is sucking his own rod. You know what I'm saying? The same way your man goes down on you, and then your man comes up and kiss you in the mouth. It's like you eating your own twat. You tell me how does that make any type of sense? It don't. So, Sister Sweet Beauty, I want to thank you for the donation for this video. If any of you have any particular topics that you need some understanding on, that is a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. Also, if you have a celebrity that you want me to do a news uh, video on, it's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. Or if you have any YouTubers that you want me to do a video on, it's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. And don't forget, people, our podcast show. Uh, we did a wonderful podcast show this, today. You know what I'm saying? So we got um, the the um, uh, Juneteenth. We did that yesterday. That's on the podcast. We got the Delta Coronavirus stimulant we did that that's on the podcast the new round of stimulus checks we got that that's go that's on the podcast you know say today we got Takashi 69 you know what I'm saying we got Oprah and Christy Teigen you know what I'm saying so forth and so we got we did a lot of podcasts today you can catch up the podcast link is in the description box below click on that podcast link that'll take you to the podcast hit that follow button while you're over there and tune in to the podcast shows. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the content. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.